once again welcome to the channel in this video we are going to install this brand new model code gx for all 9 billion on our local system and then we are going to try it out on various benchmarks this model is the open source version of the latest code gx4 model series it is a multilingual code generation model continually trained on glm 49 billion model we already have covered glm 49 billion so if you are interested please search the channel before I show you the installation and give you a bit more information about this model, let me give a huge thanks to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and the GPU for this video. If you are looking to get a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a code for 50% discount on range of GPUs. So do check them out. Now coming back to this model. It has got some enhanced code generation capabilities. Using a single model like this, we can have support for comprehensive functions such as code completion and generation, code interpreter, web search, function calling, tool calling, repository level code, question answering, and it covers various scenarios for software development. As far as benchmarking is concerned, it has achieved highly competitive performance on various benchmarks, including Big Code Bench, Natural Code Bench, and all of that information is shared on their model card, and I will drop the link to it in video's description. As per model card, they are saying that it is currently one of the most powerful code generation model with less than 10 billion parameter, and it has even surpassed much larger general purpose model, achieving the best balance in terms of inference speed and model performance. Well, let's see how much true that claim is from the model card. We'll be installing it locally and then we will play around with it. So as you can see, I'm using Ubuntu 22.04 and we are going to install it in our Jupyter Notebook. I have one GPU card, which is NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GPU of VRAM. Let me clear the screen and let's create a Conda environment where we are going to launch our Jupyter Notebook. So let's wait for this Conda environment to get created. Shouldn't take too long. It is already done. Let's install our Jupyter Notebook. It is going to take few seconds. Let's wait for it to finish. And that is already done. Let me clear the screen and let's launch the notebook. And I'm just going to issue this command Jupyter space notebook. Let's wait for it to open it in our browser. That is there. File new notebook and it is going to create a new notebook for us. Awesome. Let's install some of the prerequisites which we install our Transformers library and PyTorch. And it is recommended to install any Transformer version between these. So let's wait for it to finish. And both the prerequisites are done. Let's go down and then import these libraries which we have just installed. So I'm just importing the Torch and Transformers. And I'm also setting my device to CUDA because I'm using GPU. It will set it to CPU if you don't have GPU, but I would highly discourage you to use CPU in this case. It's a big model. Next step, let's grab the tokenizer for this model. And the token has been downloaded. Let's download the model next. And we are downloading this model code G4X, code GX for all 9 billion from Hugging Face. So let me run it. And you see that the model is now being downloaded. There are four tensors, it seems, and each sensor is around five gig of size. Let's see. So make sure that you have that much space on your hard disk. Let's wait for it to finish. Okay, so the model is all downloaded and installed and let's try to do some inference. So in this one, I'm asking it that I'm just passing the tokenizer. And then I'm just applying this tokenizer on this prompt that write a quick sort algo. And then there are some hyperparameters which we are passing it through and device is our CUDA. So let me quickly run it. That is already done. Very good. And now let's try to generate the output and print it out. I'm just using the width clause here. And then after getting the response from the model, I'm decoding and printing it out. And there you go, it has generated the quick sort program for you. 
it's in the python and i have also formatted my code a bit okay so that is good let's try out another one so i'm just going to go up and instead of the quick sort i'm just going to ask it to generate another code in this one we already have done the python so i'm just going to go with rust so i am asking it show me a rust script that draws the mental plot set that is a quite a complex uh geometrical concept so let me run it it is going to convert it into tokenizer then it is going to go through the model and then gen generate the output so let's wait for it to come back and there you go it has generated it and looks really good yep that is correct awesome stuff so because it has truncated the output because that is what we have set in our max length 200 if you will increase it it is going to give you more but looks really good okay so in the next one let's see how it can do the code translation for this one i am asking it to translate the c code snippet into ruby and then i have just given it a small snippet let's see how it goes wow so quick you see it already did in the, in the ruby very nice and now let's see how if it can fix the bug in a code so for that i'm just going to replace this one here with another code so i'm asking it find and correct the error in this javascript code and then i have given it a javascript code let's see if it can do that let's wait for it to come back and there you go and i'm actually liking the speed of inference of this model it is quite good and it is telling us that you know the error in the for loop which is totally correct that it starts from i is equal to zero that is awesome okay let's now try to check its sql capabilities now in this structured query language query the sql query i have just given it a query and it's a perfectly fine query but i'm asking it to optimize it and that is one of the biggest tasks we need to do when we are dealing with sql so let's see if it can optimize the sql query let's wait for it to come back there you go so it says including explicit join syntax instead of old comma separated table list that is totally correct amazing stuff not only it is quick it is also spot on okay so that is all good let's see if it can summarize the code or not so i'm just going to replace this with the prompt that write a concise summary for the c plus plus snippet and then i have given it a snippet let me run it let's see how it goes there you go so it has given you the summary within split second that this is a c plus plus function which implements a binary search algo amazing stuff so very impressed by this model i will drop the link to its model card in video description let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed do me a favor and share it among your network as it helps a lot Thanks for watching.